I'm here today at Jim Creek, aka known as Knick. Knick Glaciers, Jim Creek, whatever you want to call it, but then the proper name is Jim Creek. <clears throat> this is where people head out to the glaciers, to the Knick Glaciers. I'm out here on a solo trip, so <clears throat> I heard the water system's really low, but uh, that's not my go today. I'm not really trying to go to the glaciers. I'm just wanna come out here, play around a little bit, get a little video for you guys, and just kind of show you guys a little bit of Jim Creek, and uh, get you guys some some shots of the area here, of uh, the sand dunes and such, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and then we'll go from here. So this is the start of the trail, 11:30 a.m. for the record, and uh, let's go. Looks like a really nice place here. I didn't see anybody out in the parking lot, so I don't think there's anybody out here. It is a Thursday, so early morning Thursday. Gonna come your soul. Gonna travel space time. Gonna miss free your mind. This is This is what Jim Creek is also known for guys out here. Abandoned cars, stolen cars. I don't know what these cars are doing out here, but most likely they're stolen or they've been trashed. But this happens every year from trucks, uh, from small cars. I came by and saw these two vehicles. <coughs> Looks like they've been trashed out here for a while. Uh, they still got lots of good parts though. This guy here still has his full engine bay, alternators, starters and stuff. And then a uh, majority of the stuff's been trash. Looks like somebody went for the motor windows. This one's pretty interesting. This one says, uh, this one says Department of Defense, Fort Richardson. And that's the, uh, that's the military, <coughs> that's the military base out here. You can see, looks like some sand got in here, so... This vehicle may have been out here when the tide was already up or when the water was high. <coughs> you can see here, it's very dangerous. We're going to be very careful. Looks like everything's been pretty much stripped. Yikes. <coughs> I'm not sure if it's stolen or not. I'm also not sure how these hood are flattened, so it looks like something must have hit from the top because this happened for this one and also that one. Or else somebody may have just been up there stomping on it. <coughs> But it's very common. <laughs> Jim Creek is very common for all these, for a place to dump trucks and trash vehicles. A lot of people steal cars and they just toy ride it and take it out here and, and trash it out. This one here looks like it had a really nice paint job before it had to get trash. And uh, here it is for F-150. Battery's been taken. Uh, you can see here we still have the alternator. 
and um, <coughs> looks like people cut up the looks like somebody cut up all the spark plugs. <coughs> so I'm not sure exactly what happened. I'm not sure if this motor died out here or if she get trashed, but it's pretty beat up. Radiator hose cracked and stuff. Man. Didn't do too much exploration. Just came out here and did a quick look and check it out. And we will be back here in the winter time to do some Kinnick Glacier Runs. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I'm excited for those Glacier Runs. Hope you guys too. This place is also known to have silt. So silt is like this little fine, fine grind of dirt or whatever you want to call it. <coughs> and if you leave it in your vehicle, when it gets on your vehicle, it can get really bad into your bearings and all your stuff. So make sure when you come out here, wash your vehicle right away after you're done coming out here. So after this, I'm going to go home, pressure wash everything. Because <coughs> it's almost... Because <coughs> the trails... The trails right now, they're not really mud. They're like mud plus clay. That's why they're kind of gray. So that's why when it dries off, you see this little gray. It looks gray. It doesn't look brown. And uh, it's like this clay mud. And also, if you do get stuck, it can get really bad out here because it's really clay. And, I don't know. I don't come out here much. That's one of the biggest reasons why I don't come out to Jim Creek in the summertime. It's because of that silt stuff. So I try to avoid that silt. I try to avoid the silt. <coughs> and I'll come out during the winter time when it's all covered with snow and ice. And uh, it's a little bit more enjoyable in the winter time, I think. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you guys next time. Guys, this is a lot of work. Dumbing yourself off-roading.